Hello and welcome everyone to Trüberburg. We are somewhere and we don't really know where and what's going on. We had a strange doctor examining us and now I guess we have to find a way to get out of here. So let's look around a little bit. An anatomical model of a kind of human. Hey buddy. Okay, okay. Hiding him underneath the they bed. They don't seem to take hygiene too seriously the around here. I'd rather not know what happened here. Why, of course. But where? Oh, we have a ladder now. Okay. It's locked tight. Brute force won't help. There's a bloody handprint on there. It's covered in mold. A good dose of chloride is the only option. Okay. It's calcified. Memories of my dorm room. Not so long ago. No water pressure. Or clogged. Okay. So we have... What's that? Some kind of... Where the heck am I? I don't know. Doesn't tell me, okay? A fuse box. The lid is hanging off its hinges. Fried. That's not good. I'm feeling a light breeze of air. That's good. Maybe I can squeeze through. I could use this to climb to the hatch. This is all very bizarre. We fell from the lift and then we woke up here with the doctor talking something about species and all that. I need a very special tool to unscrew those very small screws. A very special tool. And the guy just looked. Okay. There's something that I can investigate that I don't have yet. Maybe I can talk to him when they give me something. Are you ready for further tests? Let me go. First, the tests. I have to go to the bathroom. Forget it. <laughs> anything? I don't think. I'm not sure if I can do anything else. If I have to take the test, because if I need a very specific tool, I don't have that right now. Let's try. Are you ready for further tests? Let me go. First, the tests. Okay. Fine then, I'm ready. Okay, let's see. What kind of test we have to that endure? That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. Could you adjust the contrast settings? These be the keys to the main entrance? I know exactly what you are up to. Forget it. Can I just He's pick it up? He's going to flick the switch on me if I make even the slightest move. Probably. Okay. Now just get going already. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associative capabilities. 
a sort of warm-up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images, and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image? Okay. Uh... A mesh of bloodlines. A mesh of dots and lines. Like the neural pathways of a nervous wreck. Ever heard of social anxiety? Fascinating. Second image? Uh... Cookies, molehills, and daddy issues. Cookies, molehills, and daddy issues? What if I made up all these along the way? You'd never know. If you say so. Now focus, please. Image number three. A beautiful butterfly. Have you ever been bitten by a butterfly? No, me either. Remarkable. And we are done. That's that. Mr. Tenhauser, there is no need to play games anymore. No? It's your decision to make. We both know you'll run out of excuses sooner or later. That's when we've got you. Then you'll have nowhere left to hide. We know who and what you are. Ultimately, it's up to you to take that first step into the right direction. Let's keep you here for the time being. Not a fan of that. Now we only need to get a few things set up. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about to commence. Knock on the door when you feel ready. I think I'm sobering up again finally. What a trip. What a trip indeed. Oh, there... There's some new things. Looks rusty. Can I take this? A coin. Oh. It fell right out of the shower head. Oh, maybe I can use the and coin right to... Inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. To unscrew the... the... thing there. There's something written on the wall. Now it's working. Oh. Maybe we'll just let it run. Maybe we can beat them by giving them a very high water bill. Let's get out of here. Uh, can't leave. There we go. Sanatorium Paradiso. Oh, I'm up there. The stairs lead up to the administration. I don't want to go there. He's sound asleep, but I'd rather not push my luck. The door to the room where they had me locked up. Oh, that is okay. I wonder what's in there. Let's find out. I need the right combination. Sanatorium Paradiso, a bucolic sanctuary in the climatic health resort Trevor Brook. Beautifully situated retreat, fresh forest air, wooded mountain slopes, established high cuisine. Well, that high cuisine we haven't really seen at the hotel, but enough a list of patients oh boy are those more kickstarter backers we assume so right
Yeah, probably. I can barely imagine what these poor souls must have gone through. As far as I know, these apparatuses serve therapeutic purposes. They do, right? Okay. We're able to pick that up. Iron bars? This place is a prison. Sanatorium Paradiso. What a strange place. Uh, this door is sealed by a humongous lock. True. Um, anything else I can do here? It doesn't really seem that way. I can actually go here. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay, we have lots of books here. Gaze in space. Smuggling ferries into Italy for fun and profit. They all seem very interesting. Maybe I can take some with me. The wonders of science. Ghastly. Construction schematics for a quantum discriminator. Ooh. Never heard of it. I am a quantum physicist for what it's worth. There's something. So many books. Maybe I should consider staying in this place. Right? They all sound good, like, for example... 100 tasty recipes with Huck. Like the Mad Eagle. Dinosaurs and Trüberbro. Prehistoric monster puzzles for an experts. Trüberburg, sensational discovery in Trüberburg. The large bone uncovered by young Peppy Hardis whilst playing in the dangerous Trüberburgian marshes, reported in the last issue, turned out to be a genuine dinosaur bone. According to leading experts, the find might be part of the tight bone of some tight bone, thigh bone of some large theropod skeleton. The site was already shut off by the Paleontology Society, coming to Trüberburg specifically as the evacuation excavation is being prepared. Penelope Hardis, mother of the Happy Finder, jumped at the opportunity to expand the product range of her little souvenir shop. She now also sells sweet dinosaur cuddly toys, dinosaur swim toys, and of course, dinosaur balloons. The souvenir business is quite seasonal. Every penny counts. You have to keep up with the time in order to stay in business. By the way, the temporary name of the skeleton will be Trüberbrokian Specimen. Although the Happy Finder insisted on the name Lloyd. With just one L, the boy emphasized. Okay. Interesting. Odd. It is odd. Employees of the Millennium, even. That's quite the award. As beautiful as the view is, I think I'd rather leave. A pretty steep downslope. I guess I'll have to find another way. Huh. What's this? An aquarium full of leeches? This place is full of strange surprises. Ugh. I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. Okay. I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. Uh, okay. 
What am I supposed to do then? I'll take it with me. It might come in handy should I need an improvised hat. Oh, it's aluminum foil. Okay, yeah, that might be helpful somewhere, somehow. Not quite sure where, but we'll see. Maybe we have to return now. I don't know. He's still asleep. Can I interact with something here? Do I have to go back? Might be. He's sound asleep, but I'd rather not push my luck. Not as long as the snoring bully is sitting there. Okay. There I need a combination, right? I need the right combination. Oh. Guess I have to go back. Maybe call the doctor again for things to change or so. Are you ready for further tests? Let me go. First, the tests. First, the tests. Fine then, I'm ready. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can figure that something out. That morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. There's still nothing new here. Now just get going already. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your a sort of warm-up. We're going to and you will tell me the first. Oh, it's the same. Like the a spaceship. A beautiful have you ever remark and uh, I'm not a hundred percent convinced yet. Maybe you had us fooled all along. Let's keep you here for the time being. Huh. Okay, so I have now to figure we something out here. To get a few things set up, then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about to commence. Knock on the door when you feel ready. I think I'm sobering up again finally. Ooh. What a trip. Okay. How can I use the aluminum foil here? Oh no. I'm not really going to have to replace the fuses, right? My dad always used to say, Son, whatever you do, stay away from fuse boxes. Yep. Oh. Good thing, so... Where the heck am I? What did that do, though? see oh I see we put that in there that's oh five zero seven eight well thanks I guess five zero seven eight oh that's cool figured it out five zero seven eight
Let's crack the safe. I'll try with this code someone left on the wall. Careful. Interesting. These seem to be the medical records. Patient detained for further examination after unauthorized incursion into a restricted area. Name Lazarus Taft, male. Patient summoned for examination of associative capabilities. Further examination of associative capabilities. Patient emits blue greenish fluorescent, flu fluorescent secretion. Lizard test. Fifth and sixth digit of patient nearly 50% regrown within the first 24 hours. Bo both fingers completely regenerated. Remarkable. Test sequence association form. Patient description of shapes and patterns appears lavish, almost infatuated. Patient seems to enjoy even the most dreadful and hideous shapes and patterns. Assumption patient incapable of evil thoughts. Patient appears limp and exhausted. Römmler claims to have witnessed an ethereal glow. That I can't confirm. Patient releases released and scheduled until further noticed. There you are. You must be lost. Uh oh. Uh is this the way to the restroom? Excuse me. Is this the way to the restrooms? No more lame excuses. We are going to perform the test now. Oh boy. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. I can see clearly now. Anything new here? I don't think so. Come on. Let's get it over with. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associative capabilities. A sort of warm-up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images, and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image? Oh, we have new... options? War. That is, um, unexpected. Second image? Cruelty. Cruelty. Are you sure? Image number three. Unnecessary violence. Extraordinary. And we're done. Counting in the benefit of the doubt, I think you've just met the criteria to pass. Yes, we passed. Next up is self-assessment. Oh boy. Ranging from one, very inaccurate, to four, very accurate. How would you rate the following statements? I often feel controlled by others. Oh, definitely a four. Four. I talk to myself frequently. We definitely do that a lot. Or I don't bring matters to an end. Would say a three. Obviously a three. I believe that future events are predetermined. As a quantum physicist, probably not. One. Or two. No, one is good. Is one good? Thank you. Next, we are going to show you a few colors. Please describe them as elaborately as possible. Let's begin. Okay. So what do you see? Please describe this color as precisely as possible. Uh, exciting. Exciting. Makes me want to leave everything behind and start a new life on Mars. How do you feel about this color? Anything particular that meets the eye? Uh, pretty cozy. Coziness. Everyone keeps talking about cookies and campfires. What happened to the smell of old socks and a wet dog under the table? Thank you. 
And what are your associations? I want to try to go with, with uh, this like color. kind of positive, happy answers since we found out that the the lizard guy could release with that. Uh, pretty uplifting. Uplifting. A cute kitten fighting over a ball of twine with another very cute kitten. Remarkable. If you had to put a name on this shape, what would it be? Um, Trude. <laughs> uh, I would call it a rectangle. Rectangle. An idea shaping an orthogonal reality from Pythagoras to Descartes until probably the end of time. And this one? That would be... Triangle? Triangle. Trinity. The whole idea of it. The three wide open seas. The three apostles. The three wonders of the world. And and all three of the important beetles. Yeah, Ringo Thank Star you. doesn't count. That's that. Now a few questions where you have to make a decision. Okay. Would you rather have landed in Roswell or crashed on the moon? Uh, Roswell. I mean, the moon, I couldn't breathe. Roswell so. is all right. But you know, they serve much better drinks at the secret Arctic station. Or would you rather be in the Cold War wearing short pants or in a very hot war wearing an <laughs> anorak? Ah. Uh. Ooh. Cold War short pants. Are you making fun of war? Short pants, of course. Would you rather be a lion without teeth or a glue without legs? A uh, lion without teeth. It could probably still like swallow like a snake or so. At least, even as a toothless lion, I would be king of the animals. Would you rather be the Franz Beckenbauer of rock and roll or the Elvis Presley of soccer? Since Franz Beckenbauer also released a music single, so... Oh, but obviously he doesn't know what Beckenbauer is, so... Becken what? Okay. Elvis scored goals with his pelvis. Oh, wow. Would you rather have your sweat smelling of wet dogs or the taste of onions in your mouth for the rest of your life? Oh, taste of onions. I love onions. Red onions or white onions? Thank you. Think of your childhood. What are the first three items coming to your mind? Ooh... Dad, Aunt Lottie, and Hans and Ice Cream. Dad, Aunt Lottie, Hans and Ice Cream. Are you sometimes afraid of the day your true identity becomes uncovered? Uh... Uh... <laughs> Did I already mention I'm saying this fine massage rods? Oh, yes. Aren't you? Do you sometimes feel that everything is just about to happen while all of it has uh -oh. already been decided? Uh oh. A bad feeling. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, my dear Mr. Tenhauser. You have passed the associative test with excellent results. Ooh. I have no more doubts that you we are passed. a real human. A real human? That's what this was all about? I apologize for the inconvenience, but one can never be sure these days. Sure. It's our civic duty to track down and detain these aliens. They are among us. Mark my words, Mr. Tenhauser. You are free to go. Please show yourself out. Oh. I'm a human being of flesh and blood, and now I'm going home. Yes! I think. Aliens, you must be out of your minds. Can I now take the key? Good day, sir. Oh, that was weird. I wonder if I could have picked like wrong answers and then I would have to puzzle my way out of here. I wonder if that's a thing. I'll leave the key under the doormat.
Chapter 3, The Tenhauser Gate. Where am I? Oh, we're back here. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, what? This way. Okay. What is this place? I don't know. The second time this happened. Last time we woke up in a. I've arrived at some sort of mining facility. It looks abandoned. Judging by our tracks, I've almost caught up with Gretchen. That is good, and also a good time to take a break. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode of Trüberbrook. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. That all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. I will be back with more Trüberbrook tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.